Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to introduce a little book club that I hope you guys will like to be a part of. And it's just where I'm gonna recommend a bunch of books that I've either read or that I'm reading this year and what I've kind of gotten out of them. Because sometimes I feel like when you're looking on, you know, Amazon or Kindle or you're just like roaming around in a bookshop and there's plenty that can kind of jump off at you off the shelf like graphically and they kind of look really good but you're just like mm, I don't really know if I want to buy that it is $30 it's a little bit of an investment and I just don't really know if the content is going to be right up my alley so I want to recommend to you guys a book which is called Purpose and this is by the author Lisa Messenger and I got this book just before Christmas in 2020 and it is an absolute game changer. So I'm going to talk about all of the different parts of this book and why I would recommend you grab yourself a copy. So before we get into today's video, just a quick reminder, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I am putting up new videos every single week. So let's get into this book. So Lisa Messenger, the author, if you haven't heard of her already, you probably live under a rock. She's written about nine books so far and is also the author and editor in chief of the Collective Hub magazine. So I found this book just before Christmas and I picked it up because I was like, I just want something that's a really easy read over the holidays. And I will show you just a handful of pages from this book. It's really graphically quite beautiful and it just has a lot of really inspirational quotes and diagrams. And there's even a couple of worksheets and things in there for you to actually fill out as you go along. And the reason that I liked this book is because it's called Purpose and the whole concept behind it is about finding your why. And for me, if in starting this YouTube channel and just at the point that I'm at in my career, I was really struggling to answer that question myself. So I think, um, yeah, I just think it's really good to get a little bit of guidance and help sometimes, honestly, because if we're talking to our friends, I think sometimes when you try and have a conversation that's on a little bit of a, a deeper level, it kind of just misses the mark. If you're not really around people that are, you know, going in the same direction of you or starting a side hustle or whatever, and they're just really comfortable in what they're doing, they'll kind of just be like, yep, great work, really supportive of you, but not exactly able to help you find out your why. So I'll read you the blurb from the back of the book to kind of give you the gist of what it's about. And it says, imagine if you could wake up every morning feeling energized, vibrant and excited for the workday ahead of you. If you could accept every challenge, hurdle and setback because you knew the end goal would be worth it. If you could walk your career path with courage, faith and determination, because you know without a doubt that you're going in the right direction. This is what happens when you find your purpose. If you're into manifestation or journaling or even just general goal setting, then this book is really going to speak to you because it kind of is exactly that. It's a culmination of so much work that we ourselves need to put in. And at the end of that, you will find your why. And finding our why is so essential in life because it's going to be that real driving force behind your purpose. And if you're not loving what you're doing or you feel like you're just kind of stagnating on your career, but you still love what you do, you just want to maybe take it in a different direction or work work for yourself or find another niche that exists within your industry, then this book is just so perfect. It kind of really speaks to you without kind of pushing you, if that makes sense. Like I ended up getting a moleskin journal from the bookshop as well. And I've been writing in this all of my notes out of that book. And I've never really been a journaling kind of person before, but I found this so incredibly helpful because there was just so many good things in there. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to treat this book like a workbook. So I got a highlighter, got a pen, and I would never normally do this to a book, particularly if I was going to hand it on afterwards or just have it sitting on my shelf. But I just went to town on this book. I was highlighting stuff. I was writing notes. I was folding pages and it, I, I literally just treated it like it was a little Bible for me. And the ironic thing is after reading it, I was having a shower one day and it just popped into my head and I was like, that's it. I actually know my why. I know my exact purpose. I know exactly where I'm going. I have the idea for my YouTube channel, which is the design your life series. That is a couple of videos back now that you'll see. And it was a really kind of euphoric, like light bulb kind of moment. And it was really, really exciting, honestly, because I feel like my 
work that I'd kind of put into reading this book and taking notes and really starting to ask some questions of myself was honestly what prompted the internal dialogue and that thought and the real why that just like presented itself to me out of absolutely nowhere. So I just would highly recommend this if you are someone who is feeling a little bit stuck because I just feel like it's the kind of book that will really get you out of that rut. And not only that, but it's just so graphically beautiful and it's a really simple and easy read. I think I read the entire thing in about seven or 10 days. It really didn't take very long at all because it was just an absolute page turner. And it's not the kind of content that's too high level for you to just be able to easily digest as well. Like this was the kind of thing that I was sitting around the pool and reading. But as I was reading it, I was just thinking, this is so good. I can't believe a book like this has just been sitting there for all those years and I've only just found it now. So I would highly recommend getting your hands on a copy if that is your kind of thing. Lisa Messenger is the author and yeah, I just think there is so much incredible advice and information in here from meditation to setting routines, forming particular habits, and really just like I said, asking those questions of yourself to make sure that you're headed in the right direction. Another thing that I really love, which this book covers is not only journaling, but also about creating a vision board. And I think this is particularly handy in terms of your career trajectory or manifesting dream things like a house or a car or a partner, and just really kind of trying to put down both into words and into pictures, what it is that you're trying to attract into your life. If you're surrounding yourself with a lot of negativity or people who are full of doubt or don't really support you in where you're trying to go, then it might be time to do a little clear out and a little life audit on some of the friends and the people that you're allowing into your space because as we all know our time here is limited and if you want to go out and do something you should really just take the opportunity and grab it and run with it no matter what people say because as long as you're able to put a roof over your head and food on the table then anything else is just about creating your life's passion and that will be finding your life's purpose and living it out instead of staying in a job that you just completely hate. Another cool concept that is mentioned in this book and something that I feel like a lot of us are kind of emerging as in this day and age is a slashy. And I love this term because it kind of refers to people that specialize in multiple different things. For example, I'm an architect and a YouTuber and somebody else might be, you know, a dentist and really into homemade crafts crafts or a chef and an artist and I just think it's not like it doesn't make any sense to limit ourselves to just be one particular thing because why would you just want to be one thing for the rest of your life when you have multiple different passions so a yoga teacher might also be an author or any of these kind of combinations so I just think it's really great that there is this idea that's emerging that we can be more than one thing we don't have to just stick to our one pathway the last point I want to make about this book and something that I think is such an important message to leave on is that it's never too late to get started. For example, I am 31. I started my YouTube channel in 2020 and it's already such a saturated marketplace. But the difference is that I know me. I know that I have particular knowledge in certain fields and nobody else is you and that is your power so our individuality is ultimately what lets us shine in job interviews in relationships in friendships and also in any kind of social media platform online so i just think it's never too late to explore your other options and kind of just go and chase after that thing that you've always been wanting to reach out and grab. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this has inspired you to run out and grab a copy of this book, or if not, just to start browsing your local bookshop and finding something that will really help you figure out your why. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.